The Rio Nandirion Bridge, as a permanent link between the Peloponnese and Western Greece, has been a dream for the last 100 years. At present, the two regions are joined by a ferry service, which, however, is no longer able to cope with the problems raised by the ever-increasing traffic. The bridge will play a significant role in strengthening the links between the western part of Greece and the rest of the country. It will also facilitate communications with Italy and Western Europe through the harbors of Patras and Igumenitsa. For building this link, the Greek government launched an international tendering procedure which led to the award of the project to the Yefira Consortium, comprising the French company Vinci and six Greek companies. Under the concession contract signed in early 1996, Yefira has undertaken to design, finance, build and operate the bridge. After finalization of the financing, this contract took effect from December the 24th, 1997. The total cost of the project amounts to 750 million euro. It will be covered by the shareholders' equity for 10%, a subsidy from the Greek state for 40%, and a loan granted by the European Investment Bank for 50%. The project presents some unique features due to the depth of water, the nature of the soil, and the high seismicity of the area. Four piers are to be built in the Gulf of Corinth, resting on the underlying silt. The main deck comprises three 560 meter central spans and two lateral spans of 286 meters. The two access viaducts bring the total length of the bridge to three kilometers. Each of the four pylons consists of four legs, converging at the top to ensure a rigid structure. The 23 pairs of stays supporting the deck are secured to the top of the pylons. The deck is fully suspended in order to be isolated from seismic movements. It is 25 meters wide with two traffic lanes in each direction. At the base of each pier, the load is transmitted by a conical shaft to a footing 90 meters in diameter, which distributes the weight of the structure and earthquake forces over the ground. Since over the last 30 years, two earthquakes of a magnitude above 6.5 on the Richter scale have been recorded in the region, the bridge has been specially designed to withstand earthquakes. The design team of Yefira, assisted by seismologists, used powerful computers to simulate effects of earthquakes on the bridge, enabling them to design the structure and justify the technical options selected. The ground under each pier is too soft to withstand forces caused by earthquakes and must therefore be reinforced. This is done by driving 100 to 150 metal pipes 25 to 30 meters in length and two meters in diameter into the silt under each pier. The ground reinforced in that manner can support very wide footings, thus avoiding any danger of overturning. Yefira carried out an extensive program of soil investigations onshore and underwater. This program involved the use of a ship with special equipment able to perform drillings to a depth of 100 meters below the seabed at the pier locations. Soil samples were sent to specialized laboratories in France in order to perform centrifuge tests aimed at determining the behavior of the reinforced soil. In addition, tests were carried out in a wind tunnel to check the stability of the deck under the strongest winds. The results of all these investigations and tests gave essential data for the final design of the bridge. The construction of the piers is quite original. The first two caissons that form the base of the piers are built first in a dry dock close to the sea. When the base construction is complete, the dock is flooded and the first caisson floated and towed out to sea. The second caisson then takes the place of the first and construction can begin on the third. After being towed out to sea one kilometer from the dock, the first caisson is anchored to three big chains and construction of the pier can continue. 
The soil preparation is carried out at the same time. A tension leg platform carrying a large crane performs the dredging at the location of each pier. Next, the pipes are lowered one by one to a depth of 65 meters and driven into the ground using a 70-ton pile driver. Finally, a layer of gravel three meters thick provides a perfectly flat surface for the positioning of the pier. The pier is lowered by differential ballasting. Water is pumped between the 32 compartments, allowing its trim to be continuously monitored. Once the pier is in place, construction of the pylon can start. It takes a year to raise each pylon to its maximum height of 160 meters above sea level. Construction of the deck will complete this project, which is the first private infrastructure concession in Greece. The Rion Andirion Bridge is an important project, which ranks among the 14 top priority projects defined during the European Council of Essen in 1994. It will be ready for use in 2004. Then Yefira will be responsible for its operation and maintenance for a period of 35 years. A long-standing dream will have become reality.